Welcome back to the Rope Access channel. Yesterday I released the video on the basic rigging. It was pretty short because rigging is such a complicated subject that I decided to cut it into a few small ones. The first comment I got was, can you please explain the common Dutch rigging example because it's not clear how the ropes would stay connected if one anchor would fail. So I will show you that right now. Let's get into it. Besides showing you how I personally rig my ropes or the common Dutch way, it's not the common Dutch way, it's just one of the ways out of the international code of practice. Uh, I will show you how you can use one rope doubled up to rig two ropes actually. So I take the middle of these ropes, which I do by finding the end. So I take my ends, my look for the middle. So I know that this is the middle of the rope and I tie two figure of eight knots. On one side of the loop and one on the other side of the loop. You tie the knot, you dress the knot and then you set the knot. Thinking like this loop, it's way too big, so I'll make it a bit shorter. That looks better. So the way that we like to rig often is you take your two bites of rope or the two loops, you put them through both carabiners. And you take the other steel, so one bomb-proof steel and another bomb-proof bomb -proof steel. And I put the other carabiner through both loops as well. I tie my stopper knots at the end of the rope. And I lower it down. So what have I done? I have shared the load among the two anchor points. If one would fail, there is no shock load in the backup rope. Because if I rig the basic rigging, where it's separate, if this one would fail and I would fall, and I would get a shock load in the system on my backup line. So if we rig it like this, That's not a problem. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell to always be notified of a new video. This video is sponsored by Industrial Klimmen. Industrial Klimmen is a beautiful training center, as you can see behind me, uh, in Wormerveer, just north of Amsterdam in the Netherlands. They provide all kinds of different uh, safety related training. You can come here for your IRATA training, your GWO training, your basic working at high training and any training in between. There's a beautiful website where you can look up all the different pieces of uh, climbing equipment that you'd need. And if you use the link in the description, you get a nice little discount and you support the channel. All right, that's it for this video. It's a short one but I hope that answers your question for the person who asked it. I will see you in the next one. Stay connected.